Hello guys. Welcome back. This is Shazex, back with another video. Today I'll be showing you the best Town Hall 9 Zap Dragon Attack strategy. The latest Zap strategy after the new update of COC. I'll be showing you three different replies. And these three will be included low level heroes, but maxed out town halls. And at the end, I'll be doing a live war attack with the Zap Dragon army. I'll be showing you in detail the replies of TH9. So make sure you watch till the end. And before starting the video, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell notification. As it requires a lot of effort for making such videos. And let's get started after this small intro. So here's the first reply. As you can see there are two air defenses close to each other, this would be a golden opportunity for me to break two of them with four lightning spells each. And on the other side, I'll be breaking this air defense close to Archer Queen. Also I'll be taking also the air sweeper with the lightnings. I'll be dropping the lightning in these wall segments. Now let me show you the reply. I've made a small mistake here. I dropped the lightning a little bit early. Otherwise I could have taken the queen also. Never mind. But I've got the maximum values. Now I am making funneling on both sides. After the funneling is done, I've dropped all the dragons and loons. Remember the loons should go in such a way that they reach the air defense with the help of a haste spells. As the CC is empty in my case, I've dropped the freeze spell on the queen. And don't worry about the enemy's CC. Because the dragons are strong enough to take down any kinds of troops in the CC, whether there remains Electro, Witch, or Baby Dragon. After the air defenses are destroyed there remains nothing left so much compulsory to destroy. I've dropped my heroes on two corners of the base because of no time issues. And now let the dragons clear the base. And one thing to say, did you notice my hero's level? And here we got an easy triple. This is a Town Hall 10 base. Some of the cannons and archer tower are max. As you can see, the air defenses are close to dark elixir storage, dropping four of them each will help to destroy both. And I've dropped the rest four lightnings on the opposite of Archer Queen. The reason is very simple. As the air sweeper is pointing on opposite to the remaining air defense. Now I've done funneling on both sides and deployed all of my troops. I've deployed the electro close to the X bow. This will help to achieve a maximum percentage. Look how I've dropped the poison spell. The poison spell is giving damage to the queen, the CC troops and so on. 
this will help to achieve more percentages. And the Electro is also helping in killing the CC troops. Due to the splash damage of the dragons, the Archer Queen and also the air defense was destroyed. I've dropped heroes to make sure my dragons enter at the core of the base. Look at how poor the levels of my heroes are. Now let the dragons clear the base. And now we have got three easy stars. Here is the last reply. This one was done by one of my friends. He destroyed two air defenses. And deployed all the dragons at 6 o'clock. His hero's levels are also low but somehow, he was able to take down the base easily. And as I have mentioned earlier, you don't need to worry about the CC. And due to the sparks of the Electro Dragon, the last air defense was finally down. And this base was an easy triple. I'm just amazed how he took three stars by deploying the troops opposite of the air defenses. Surprised? You can see here my army combination. And let's go for a live war attack. Look at my hero's level and enemy's hero's level. The plan is very simple. I've tried to take air defense along with archer queen and air sweepers. Now I'm making funneling with the heroes. And now I have deployed all of my troops. And look at the deployment of the haste and freeze spell. I've dropped them in such a way that my loons are able to take the air defense, and on the other hand, my electro gets enough time to shoot electro sparks. And I was successful in doing so. In this attack strategy you have to mainly focus on the proper funneling. And then deployment of loons and then your haste spells. You can take different spells along the lightning. But 8 lightnings are must.
I think you have understood the concept of this army. And I was able to take 3 stars easily. And this was a live planning plus attack. So guys, that is all for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed a little bit, don't forget to like, comment down below what you would like to see next, and a subscribe is must. If you have any difficulties in understanding, let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to check the other videos. And one thing to say, you should mainly focus on the troops pathing and spells deployment. All these attacks were done with my low level heroes. It took a long time in making this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, till then stay safe. Stay beautiful. Peace.